Hey guys, Hyrule Ian here. Today I'm going to show you how to play Game Boy Advance and Game Boy Color and original Game Boy games on your computer. Now in this tutorial I'll be showing you for Game Boy Advance, but the setup is entirely the same if you want to play Game Boy Color or original Game Boy. So basically you're going to need a thing called an emulator, and this video will be using the emulator MGBA, which you can find at the website mgba.io. There will be a link in the description. So once you get here, you just go over to the downloads page and download it for your appropriate operating system, Windows, Mac, Ubuntu, but I'm sure the Ubuntu versions will work on different Linux distros. You just hit download and you're good to go. So once you download that, you'll have a zip file, which you'll need to unzip. Pretty simple stuff, but if you need help, again, leave a comment. Uh, anyway, so you'll unzip it and find a folder called MGBA with the version number and the release date of the version. And you'll double click to open it. And you'll find this big old folder here with a bunch of stuff in it. You don't really need any of this. All you'll be needing for this tutorial is the MGBA application.exe. So you double click it and it'll open up here. So once it opens, you'll find the MGBA emulator's main screen here. It might be a little bit smaller at first, but we can fix that. Uh, and the first thing we're going to do is adjust our control settings. So if you head over to the Tools tab here and hit Settings, you'll see a bunch of a bunch of different settings. I don't mess with any of these really. But then you can go over to Controllers, and you see all the layouts for all the buttons. Now obviously you're on a computer, so you can use pretty much any controller, whether it's a DualShock 4, an Xbox One controller, an Xbox 360 controller, or even a Nintendo Switch controller if you feel like it, honestly. Uh, but for this tutorial, I'll be using my DualShock 4, which I had lying around. So basically, you just click on the different buttons on your screen here, and press the appropriate button on your controller, or whatever button you want, I guess. See, so yeah, I'll just go through and set all these A to X, B to circle, you know, select to share, start to options. And there we go. We have all of our control set up. So just hit apply and then OK. So now you'll have to open your ROM file, which you'll download, which I'm not going to share how to download ROM files because technically it's in a gray area in terms of legality. Basically, if you own the game, you're allowed to do this, which I do. So uh, just Google how to get a ROM file for GBA if you really want to know, but I'm not going to show you in this tutorial. Anyway, so hit File, Load ROM, and it'll throw you out to some folder, which I had it throw me out to the desktop so I could go right to my Super Mario Advance 2 ROM here and hit Open. And then you'll see Mario Advanced running on your computer. very loud there we go fix that so your window originally will probably look something a little more like like this it'll be smaller for sure if you want the best possible pixel quality for your Game Boy Advance emulation and you want it to be as full screen as possible without it looking stretched and bad I would recommend setting it to 5 or 6. It'll depend on your monitor if you'll be able to fit the whole thing on there. For me, I can. So then just hit start, play your game. And this will work with any Game Boy Advance game, and I also believe that it works with Game Boy Color and original Game Boy. So as you can see, the game is running in the background right now, and it's pretty much perfect, and it looks great. I love the way that the emulators make the games look. Like, I love to pop open Fire Emblem, and look at all the awesome sprites and stuff like that and it, it all just looks great and as you can see too it runs the game perfectly fine though it does not make you better at the game that's got to be said right away so here we go oh yeah here we go this is a good take Uh, and real quick, I'll also show you that it works on some other games. Okay, so here's Fire Emblem running on the MGBA emulator. It looks great, and I love the music in this game, and I love the art of this game. So we'll just pop it at this chapter here that I've been on. There we go. 
But now you can see. We'll just skip all this starting stuff. Yeah, and I absolutely love how this uh, how this emulator makes the games look. No more Linus. Anyway, Fire Emblem. And it looks absolutely lovely. Just look at this. It looks like it's it's practically in HD and everything. It's awesome. So yeah, that's Fire Emblem. I'll show one more game here. Okay, so this is the best Game Boy Advance game ever released. You may or may not be familiar with it. It is called Dogs. There's the puppies. Yeah, as you can see, the MGBA emulator even makes dogs look lovely. So yeah, I already, I, don't, I haven't really actually started it on this emulator, but this is one of the best Game Boy Advance games ever, so if you're looking for a fun game to play, I would definitely recommend checking out Dogs. Again, I'm not going to share links to the ROMs, but uh, just Google Dogs ROM for Game Boy Advance and you'll find something, I'm sure. Anyway, while we're here, let's go over a couple of the settings for the emulator. So, in the audio video tab, you can change the size of the window again if you want it to be bigger. You can also uh, change the FPS target, make it, if you want to run the game at 240 FPS for some reason, you can do that. Or if you want it to run it native for the maximum, the maximum quality, realistic emulation you can, but I prefer to just keep it at a solid uh, 60. Um, you can also set up frame skips and all that stuff and disable video channels and take screenshots and record and everything. But I just kind of don't really mess with much of this. I just do it for the basic stuff. You can also do cheats, which is awesome. Uh, and change the palette if you want. Make your games look darker. You can also simulate yanking out the game pack, which is always fun. Uh, headphone users beware. Alright, here we go. We'll just reset that there. <laughs> yeah, so that's cool. There aren't many emulators that have stuff like that, really. I hit a button and it loaded uh, the save state menu here, so I guess this is a good time to talk about save states. So you can also save by doing file, quick save, and picking a save state here. Or you can save a file save state by doing this one. Uh, but anyway, pop up dogs again here. Just get it going. Okay, so some other settings for the emulator include you can patch the ROM with uh, any patches, ROM patches you might have. You can boot the BIOS of the Game Boy Advance. You can make it portable so you can throw the executable on a flash drive and take it with you everywhere you want to go. You can also do Game Sharks and you can do multiplayer linked through different windows of the emulator. I'd show you that, but I don't have any Pokemon ROMs at the moment. But you can, like, basically, you you and a friend can play split-screen Pokemon, basically. Which is awesome, and I've done it before, and it's amazing. But yeah, so that's MGBA, the Game Boy Advance emulator. It does require a bit more of a beefy computer to run. Not much, though. Uh, and if you need another emulator, I'll share a link to another one in the comments down below for a, a little bit of a lower-end computer. But yeah. Any questions you might have, go ahead and leave a comment, and thank you all so very much for watching this video, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.